came from Venus. I'm feeling way too hot, high-headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it to hell, now I got ether. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed me. She took a dab of that, till she had cataracts. Grabbed the rack, she had a MAGA hat. I tapped the back to Adam Zap. Uh, I told her, Mag the rack. My dick couldn't even fit half the cap in the Cadillac. Take a dab of wax with a battle lax, not your average cat. Uh. Why don't they give me a break? I learn from mistakes, I'm earning my pleasure. Yeah. Man, I'm just raising the stakes. I'm tired of just wait and losing my patience. Yeah. I'm in the whip, white tires. Hey, you guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Naughty Love Movement. It's your girl, Nikki, bringing you the latest and trending topics, celebrity gossip, and recap on all your favorite reality TV shows. Also, I vlog my lifestyle. Before we get into today's content, I'm going to ask you guys to please hit that like button right now. Hit it right now. Subscribe and hit that bell for the notifications so you could be updated when I update content to my channel also please leave comments i love interacting with my naughty crew we've been having a good time thus far and please remember to respect the community guidelines we want to have a good time but we want to be peaceful and respectful also share my content on your different social media platforms and follow us on ours we're on instagram facebook and tiktok and all that information will be down below in my description box also, place those orders for your head wraps. Yes, we got the Naughty Love head wraps. We got them for men, women, children, babies, you name it. We got it. We have apparel too, smoking stones, and so many, a variety of things. You know, I'm Naughty Love movement is about different layers of things. There's many layers to me. And I'm taking you guys on this journey with me. We're on the path to 1K subscribers. We are over 10,000 views on the channel, so I appreciate my naughty crew supporting me thus far, but keep up the good work, you guys. So let's get it. Let's go. So as you all know, last night was the BET Awards, okay? And this was a big night for a lot of people. Um, and you know, I got an article for my naughty crew. Shout out to the Shade Room for dropping these articles. Um, but we're going to get into some fashions, okay? But Diddy was the, the ooh. Diddy was the big deal last night. So let's get into it. Let's start off with um, some fashions. Like Lotto, she was the big winner last night. Shout out to Lotto. I, I've been watching her since the rap game, and she deserves every bit of what she she's been working hard this girl has been working so hard so let's listen to her acceptance speak she's so happy exactly this is this is dope right here um so jovio pub publicist says i'm so happy for her i am too big ups to you for sure so shout out to Lotto. Congratulations, Queen. You finally getting your flowers. You have been working hard through the years. And I like what you contribute to the music industry. So keep up the good work. Naughty Crew, we, Naughty Love Movement and Naughty Crew, we here for you, Lotto. All right. So that was a big part of the night. Um, Jasmine Sullivan, she won for Best Female R&B and Pop Artist. I'm glad this sister has gotten her flowers. Her voice is amazing. That's her with Jonelle, um, Jonelle, Jonelle Monet, excuse me. <laughs> and um, BET Her TV says, so well-deserved. Absolutely, she's been working. She's been grinding hard. And yes, yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to all the ladies. It was a big deal last night, okay? And this is um, Chloe Bailey arriving. She looks gorgeous, love the dress. She looks gorgeous. Yeah, she is a beautiful queen. She looks amazing. She looks elegant, tasteful, little sex appeal, you know? 
Yeah, she looks very good. Drop down into my comments. Let me know what y'all think about her dress. Let me know what y'all think about Lotto's big win last night. This is Docha or Dochi, excuse me. Gold dress. I love it. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. She looks like royalty. I love it. Um, this is Marcia Martin from Blackish. She's turned up having a good time. right now on the red carpet. I'm very excited. Let's go. I'm excited for her. She looks gorgeous. I love her personality. I love it. She's young out here and free and doing her thing. Drop down into my comments. Let me know what y'all think about the fashion and um, the different awards that was given out. So in other news now, Diddy was a big deal last night at um, the BET Award. So he won an award. Diddy thinks ex-girlfriend Cassie during BET speech while Young Miami was in crowd holding a sign. This is this hot mess central, you guys. I, what do you say to this? <laughs> Diddy is a hot mess. And he only want to do what they allow him to do, okay? So woo, one thing about the BET Awards is that you never know what to expect, and Diddy made us all gag tonight <laughs> while accepting his Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the music industry. The icon had a long list of people to thank, including Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, more than 10 years. So that's them together. After sharing, he was once in a dark place for a few years and stating he misses his Mrs. The mother of his children, Kim Porter, the 52-year-old, stated he wanted to give a special thank you to those who were there for him during that time. And he quotes, yo, I'm going to keep it a hundred with y'all. I was in a dark place for a few years. He continues to thank the people who were instrumental in his life, Bishop T.D. Jakes, his um, chef of staff or chief of staff, Lori Ann Gibson, and the very much Mary Cassie. <laughs> so he is shout out, you guys. You know, did he? He got some. Yeah, also, Cassie for holding me down in the dark times. Love. That's his new thing. Love, love, love. All right. So he did thank Cassie, but I mean, maybe we're we'll reading more into it than he meets the eye. You know, um, they probably are friends. So fans reacted to Diddy's mention of Cassie in BET acceptance speech. In true Twitter, Twitter fashion, people had quite a few things to say, considering Cassie is now a married woman. And Young Miami was in the crowd holding the sign that read, Go Poppy. Diddy just thanked Cassie while Carisha is holding a sign. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is Young Miami during the Diddy tribute. Like he is so disrespectful, you guys. But they have an arrangement, so I mean, she needs to expect this from him. So Jesse, who social social media influence, also made a comment, and she tweeted, "That man." Thank every woman in his life, including Cassie, except the woman holding up the go poppy sign. So shortly after Diddy was done with his very detailed acceptance speech, Cassie posted on IG story, giving us nothing but legs and face. Admiring her body, she proceeded to pose in front of the mirror in a two-piece bikini while looking completely unbothered. So here it is, you got her IG post. Okay, so Kathy is living her best life, okay? And she looks good. Okay. 
So let's see what some of these comments say. Uh, Ma, Mafia Misha says, I like Cassie. She just be minding her business. So unproblematic. Exactly. Cassie is about to eat her food and mind her business. Yes. Okay. They always love you once you're gone. Absolutely. <laughs> In true narcissist fashion. <laughs> yes, we are messy and we here for it. Okay. <laughs> Cassie is living her best life. So, you know, Diddy, he he loves the he loves to disturb the pot. But congratulations on your lifetime achievement award, Diddy. You did contribute. Now, young Miami um cl claps back at commentators who called her a clown after holding up the gold pop sign. Let's see what she got to say, okay? Because we here for it, Naughty Crew. Here we go, Carisha. We all know that Young Miami and Diddy are both single, but they go together real bad. And the city girl was at the BET Awards to support her mans while accepting his speech for BET Lifetime Achievement Award. Diddy thanked his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, and had social media frenzy, okay? Like, <laughs> so... What does she have to say? <laughs> like what the actual Fs, okay. They clowning them. So yeah, <laughs> Hollywood is just weird. Everybody's sleeping with everybody. That's just the bottom line. So this is Young Miami and her profile on Instagram. I love a circus, mind your business, okay? That's what she has to say, a face, a body. Clown too. So I guess her feelings hurt, but the 28-year-old replied to the tweet and said, I love a circus, whatever, hoes mind your business. I guess that's what that means. So she basically says nothing, whatever. <sighs> I don't know why young chicks should be in these complicated situations, but I wish you the best, young Miami. If that works for you, having an emotionally unavailable partner you have at it have fun with it sweetie but anywho so there were a lot of um um did he brought out like he he knows a lot of people so there was a lot of surprise guests um during a performance so Diddy took us all the way back with his hits during his BET Awards performance with tons of special guests to be expected. Diddy knows everybody. He's been in the game for psh, ever, like 30 something years at this point. Um, so congratulations to him. Woo, Diddy let everyone know that his career is legendary for a reason. And the BET Awards was the perfect place to highlight it. During his Lifetime Achievement Award presentation at this year's BET Awards, Diddy brought out some of the iconic artists he worked it with throughout his career. If there is one thing that Diddy knows is how to do with ease, it's putting a sh yeah. He knows how to put on the show. He knows how to entertain. That's for sure. I don't um deny him of that. So to kick off the tribute, le legendary R and B group Jodeci came out and performed their timeless hit "Come and Talk to Me" with original mem members Casey Haley and JoJo Haley and Mr. Dalvin. What happened to um Devante? And then next up was the queen herself, Mary J. Blige, of course, had to bless the stage, who cascaded down the stairs singing her classic heartbreak anthem, I'm Going Down, wearing her signature thigh-high boots with a platinum blonde, half up, half down hairstyle, filled with curls. Love it! So let's see. <laughs> Yo, 
start it then. So they sound good. Good Mary. Mary looks good. Shine. He looks good. He came out with the tux on, like gentleman style, looking real dapper. Buster came out. Now Buster always going to perform, okay? Buster's going to give you a performance, okay? And he's going to look good at the same time. Oh, uh, he did a whole dedication to him. He misses his friends. So that's what's up. So that's what's up, okay? So, you know, Diddy, he, he's had a major contribution in the music industry. He definitely has some hits. I don't deny that. You know, I just think he's a little corny on the rapid tip. You know, it's not my style, but he has blessed us with some hits. He has developed some great artists through the years, even though he got some shady stuff with his business or whatever, he's a major contribution to the hip hop community. So drop down into my comments, Naughty Crew. Let me know what y'all think about um, the BET Awards and the people that were highlighted. I thought it was a great event, but I just want to hear what you guys think. Drop down into my comments. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell button so you can be notified when I update content to my channel. Until next time, 90 Crew, I'm out. One. Them niggas came from Mars, y'all came from Venus. I'm feeling way too hot, high-headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it through hell, but now I got either. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed you. She took a damn.